Hello, Facebook, and welcome to Whiskey Wednesday. Um, tonight, we are changing the setting here at Rick's house um, next to the tree. Feeling a little festive this evening with the snow. Which is why we're going early. <laughs> That's why we're starting early. Yes, we're, starting early. Yeah, we're starting early. Hopefully, you guys can uh, tune in at 9 o'clock. Um, if, for those of you who usually do, but we'll be um, doing this for the next 30 minutes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, guys, I'm, I think I'm getting sick. Okay, and I'd like to tell you about the stuff coming up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. What stuff coming up? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're, you're like... <laughs> Like, I was I'm wondering sick. where this was going. Actually. Here's what's been coming up today. I know, I'd like to tell you what's coming up before before I can't talk anymore because <laughs> this might be my last Whiskey Wednesday, okay? I'm dying. I feel like I'm dying, okay? So, um, we played last night with uh, Twisted Pine in, at Beachland. Uh, which is an awesome show. Um, most of the guys are from, uh, or girls, I should say. They all from, they all live in Boston now. Yeah. Yeah, they all are from Boston, and they flew in in this crappy weather, and uh, ended up having to like go out to Detroit, get a car, um, and drive out all the way to Cleveland. So they were kind of late, um, but it was. I mean, it, they you know pulled it out. They were awesome. It was a great time. Um, and then this Friday we picked up a last minute show um, at the House of Blues in Cleveland and the guys can't be on it but me and Rick are actually going to be doing a duo um, opening up for Marty Stewart which is like super exciting um, and it's you know getting close to the holidays hopefully um, he'll pull out some old stuff as well as his new album what's it what's it called uh, way out west uh, Marty Stewart, the fabulous superlatives, yeah. okay. produced by Mike, Mike Campbell, Mike Campbell. Yeah. of Heartbreakers. Yeah, yeah. Super so good yeah, we're really, really excited for that. That's going to be um, the Cleveland House of Blues Friday night. I think about eight o'clock. Um, so uh, get your tickets for that online. Um, what else do we have? We have uh, Sunday. We're going to do our first mall gig, guys. Mm. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, and Debbie Gibson's open opening for us, right? Yeah. Debbie Gibson is a... She goes by Deborah now, I think. Deborah. Yeah. <laughs> She's familiar with the mall circuit. She's going to open. We're going to do... Do you remember when, okay, when she when Debbie Gibson came out, she yeah. was, you know, sort of the, the bubblegum pop mm -hmm. star. And Tiffany. And, and Tiffany. Like, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. But Debbie Gibson tried to, um, I forget the name of the album, but sort of change her image and oh, yeah. be a little bit more... So she changed to Deborah. It, yeah, and then in the, in the album cover was her on a motorcycle. Like she was trying to oh, like get yeah. this like harder image away from the. But <laughs> nice try. A nice try. <laughs> She's still Debbie Gibson to me. <laughs> Which one did? Uh, think we're alone now. Was that her or Tiffany? Is it Tiffany? Think we're alone I think it was Tiffany. Now. Yeah. If anyone knows. I remember that video for sure. Though, for sure. Yeah. That was like a mall video. It was all clips of her playing. Oh yeah. Balls. Kids oh, hanging yeah, yeah. off the Tiffany. balconies. Yeah, I think Loving it's it. Tiffany. Is that what we're going to see this weekend? Yeah, I'm hoping. <laughs> you know those like weird like camera shots where they zoom in and out like constantly? Yeah, just like that, <laughs> Leslie. She knows. I think we're alone now. And my, my hair will be more crimped than it is right now, I promise. <laughs> Super crimped. And hopefully some beads somewhere in there. Where are we playing at? Like, um, in like the in, the, in the center of the mall, it'll be like... Um, Stage, in though, in right? the center of the sun, uh, Southern Park Mall, I should say. Um, that'll be like right by Gloria Jean's Coffee. Oh. And, like, oh, where's and where's um, Santa at this year? Um, he's down by JC Penney, yeah. oh, okay. um, which is fine by me because Mrs. Claus still kind of scares me. <laughs> so I want to avoid. On the list. Yeah, I want to avoid her at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm all right with that, and you know what? If we, I think we might have to go like take a picture with Santa. Yeah, that for sure. sounds like something we should do. For sure. We'll have to figure out a way around Mrs. Claus, distract her in some some way. I'll distract her. Yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you're married <laughs> to me. <laughs> uh, Watch out, what Mrs. time are we Claus. playing? 
that's just that's gonna be like it's gonna be like a nice like Christmas like songs and a little bit of Vindy's songs um, that'll be from three to four um, at the mall and it'll be like high like busy time there because it's Sunday before Christmas and that's basically the last place I want to be but at least I'm not shopping you know so I'm just we're just playing and just chilling out we're gonna see so many dads there so, so many dads. So many angry dads. Angry dads. <laughs> Looking awkward at Victoria's Secret, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Is so that it's the a, it's a um, last chance to get the um, Vindy's a Christmas present then. Yeah. Right. So, so we'll be putting we'll put be putting the um, vinyl online hopefully in the next day. Um, so get your um, Vindy's vinyl for keep going um, before the holidays. We'll ship them out to you. Um, and also the new t-shirts, right? The, the white ones. Um, yeah, with still the, some left. Still some left from all the dates that we did in November, um, which they ha that is all on the back. The red ones, too. The red ones are new? Yeah, we'll get the red ones on there as well. Um, what else do we have? On the December 29th, we have Birdfish. Um, and that's, I think, the, just the three of us. I know you have family functions. Family functions. And uh, that should be chill. Um, always a good time. Always a good time. Yeah, the uh, listening party was super fun, but we always enjoy playing there too. So that'll be good. Um, two more, and I promise I'm done. The we have the Columbus. We, we're gonna be going back to Columbus finally um, for New Year's Eve. So this is gonna be at the Goat. I think this is on South High Street. Downtown. Downtown, right there. New location. It's not open yet. It's a new location. I think they're opening for New Year's yeah. Eve, right? I believe so. Um, so it should be a really packed house. They're having a DJ there as well um, that will be playing right after us. And then we're just going to, you know, chill out and have fun in Columbus. So any Columbus fans out there, uh, be looking for that um, stuff on our Facebook, on our website. And then. Last but not least so far for the new year, um, we have a Musica show. Finally, I think this is our first show in Musica in Akron um, with Old Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And that is January 12th. Um, and that should, that is, is it just us and them? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, yeah. I thought someone else was on. So co that'll be co-headlining. Co-headlining, like it, awesome. So January 12th. So that is it for the new... One more date. Not officially a Vindy's oh, yeah. date mm -hmm. specifically, but it's a John and I gig. Also with Clay Colley, former Vindy member. And he's going to be playing with us on a few of these shows coming up as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're playing the complete Charlie Brown Christmas next Thursday, mm -hmm. December 21st, at Susie's downtown from 8 to 10. We'll play it. We'll straight down the record, the Christmas record, a few other Vince Guaraldi favorites, a few other jazzed up Christmas jams. Yeah, this is the fourth annual. Fourth annual. Charlie Brown Christmas. We have a very cool flyer designed by Danielle Deli, Deli Cusano. Did she change her name yet? Del Sano. Uh, where she actually Charlie Brown us all. Yeah. She made us into Charlie like Brown. Like dubbed you. Charles Swartz. Yes. Charles we all Schultz. have our own. Charlie Swartz, yeah. Schultz. Sorry. Schultz. <laughs> Sports. Um, but yeah, but we all look like little Charlie Brown characters. It's really cool. So we'll I can't be wait for like 40 years from now when this is going to be our 40th anniversary. 44th anniversary of the Charlie Brown record. <laughs> That'll be the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're out. I've never actually seen one. It's been four years. Really? I think it's high time. No, you went so. to one. No, yeah, one you time. sang it one. You sang, you sat in and did Blue Christmas. Long time. First one. The first one, yeah. I did. The first one. <laughs> you just came up. It was well, I, I guess I didn't showed. realize it was an annual thing until the next year. <laughs> so, I guess yeah. that's a thing. And so. I think actually the second year maybe, I wasn't on. No. Was it, was a, it was almost a different band. So, Alex just myself and Vinny Vivac were the, the only two consistent. Yeah. I think Vinny probably the best represented as a Charlie Brown character. Yeah. He's kind of a cartoon himself. <laughs> Hurricane Vivacqua. Hurricane Vivacqua. Absolutely. Um, guys, what is, I was, we were thinking about this, Ed mentioned, I think it's a pretty okay. good question this evening. What is the, uh, any Vindy's 
Christmas safety tips. Well, specifically, I think winter safety, but Christmas winter is a safety. good thought too. There's lots of uh, hazards around the holiday season. Your tree, perhaps, if it's a real tree. Fire hazard. Fire hazard. I know if Jay and Steph are watching, that tree is definitely a fire hazard because <laughs> it is real. And it's real big. <laughs> it is real. <laughs> it is the real. So real. So real. Uh, so keep water in that thing. Uh, <laughs> watch the lights. Watch, watch the electric use for sure. Um, I was thinking originally. I've never heard of a story. I mean, I know that that yeah. is a thing, but I've never heard of dry something. out. But invest in LEDs because they yeah. don't they don't, don't get, get hot. hot. They don't get sure. hot. You save energy. Make sure it's properly anchored, which they did not do initially. <laughs> did you watch some kind of like tree YouTube? No, but they their tree fell. So oh yeah. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, didn't you say something about, was it your parents or Leslie's yeah. parents that, My parents. like, it was so full that yeah. it was, like, toppling over? Fell right over. So Good it time. happens, it guys. Does. I was thinking more specific, like, winter tips, because yeah. it's, it's snowing right now. We're supposed to get a lot of snow tonight. So it's fun time, safety, and real safety tips, too. The one, jokingly, was a uh, classic for my dad. Watch out where those huskies go. <laughs> Don't you eat that yellow snow. Mm -hmm. Classic safety tip I remember from being a child. What else do you guys think? Well, I'm thinking of one that I just learned recently, maybe just last year, was that you don't, you're not supposed to put salt down after, or after like the evening time when the sun's not out because the sun actually works with the salt to melt the snow. So don't, I mean, you're, it's like useless putting salt down at night. Mm. Interesting. Mine was always, my dad always tells us, and he still yells at us for this, uh, to not put your hands in your pockets as you're walking outside because you'll fall and you'll break your arms. <laughs> and you can't play guitar, boy. So, <laughs> you can't play guitar, boy. I would almost think, like, because I know so many people that fall and try to catch themselves <coughs> and they end up breaking a wrist. Oh, right? So well. if your hands are in your pocket and you just kind of like well, flop on your shoulder. And you hit your head. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're, you yeah, you're Cla face. Another classic dad advice, though, dad wisdom. My dad would say always, make sure to tuck your chin into your chest when you're falling so your head doesn't fall down. <laughs> He's just like, have to roll. Yeah. <laughs> you're all bundled up properly, though. Mm -hmm. In the morning, always watch for the black ice mm. because it, black ice. You know, it looks like water and, and it's ice. And next thing you know, and, and a few home tips. And, and this has happened, um, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's January and you come home and there's no heat in the house. Um, you might want to check the battery in your thermostat. Mm. Um, that's happened to my parents a few times. They end up calling someone. It always happens on a weekend. Yeah. So when you call someone, and at night, so you call someone, it's, you know, they charge you and it's just weekend something rates, about and a battery. they come in, they change the battery, and you, um, Classic. and change your, um, your filters in your furnace. Yeah. All right. Watch out for those freezing pipes. Yep. Linda. Shout out to Linda. Prevent Shout out to Linda. Preventative. More about the Christmas season. Do your shopping early. I've yeah. never in all my life, I've always waited until the last second. I'm always the one that's out there, the idiot on Christmas Eve, going to find gifts for people. This year, I did everything mostly online, and I did it, you know, the first week of December. So I'm like done, and it's like, I can enjoy the holidays now somewhat. I know that there's family, you know, you know, stuff going on. Well, this got awkward. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the holidays are hard, guys. You don't need to make them harder by going out on Christmas Eve and trying to shop for people you may or may not like, okay? So, <laughs> so get it done early, okay? And first of all, you're not going to be out there while it's freezing and there's traffic and this and that. So keep your hands out of your pocket. Keep your yeah, hands yeah, out of your pocket. Also, the pocket. shuffle step that I, Leslie made fun of me the other day. I was joking about it, but it's a real thing. If you slide your feet when it's icy out and not like a roll step, that's when you like end up on your ass. So shuffle like a yeah, penguin. Yeah, slide your feet. Like, like a penguin. Yes. And also be, be aware. Um, 
do you let your dog out? How long they're out when it gets cold? Do that. Right? And I, yeah, Rick. <laughs> right. Yeah, Rick. I'm, 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 I'm reminding uh, myself. Oh. And, and they, they actually sell little uh, booties for the dogs. So, you know, I mean, <laughs> when it's yeah. like sub zero degrees. Yeah. Um, they can, uh, they're they really can sensitive. Them. When we were doing paw print ornaments at the art cafe, like I was trying to paint the dog's paws and they were, they were so scared. Like these big, great days yeah. were like no, scared. Molly, though. What a chance. Molly, she'll let you do anything. <laughs> Just love me. Um, okay. So safety tips. I think we got that covered guys. Um, in an awkward manner. Safety first. Class of 2018 inductees. Rock and Roll for Hall of the Fame. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This year they are Bon Jovi, The Cars, Dire Straits, Moody Blues, Nina Simone, and an award for early influence to Sister Rosetta Tharp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that's a good uh, group this year. Yeah. I, the Cars is, yeah. is a great one. Nina Simone, I'm surprised she's not already in there. Right. She and uh, there's a couple other people that have been on the ballot for a while. Yeah, uh, MC5 there. and the meters, they were on there. Uh, but I was, I was happy the to see that she was on there. The meters aren't in there? I mean, they're not really rock, but still a huge influence. Right, right. Of, you know, even Led Zeppelin. But um, yeah, it was cool to see. I think a good comprehensive list Yeah, for the most part. Yeah. All right. Um, and they'll actually have the ceremony in Cleveland this year. It's in Cleveland in sure. April, yeah. Where do they usually have it? They rotate between New York and New York. Oh, okay. Was it Radio City? No, or Waldorf. Is it Waldorf? I think it's Waldorf. Is it? Yeah, I think I read this somewhere. Yeah, we'll have to, uh... We'll have to go. Let's try and... Let's see see Bon Jovi. Andrea? <laughs> Andrea, yeah. Like Get it. us tickets. Um, so tonight, we're next to the tree, next to the fire place. Um, there's no fire, but... Above, we've got a fire going. Where did Jordan no, Brady go? It went to the next what? year too late. Oh. I should have put the four hour one on. <laughs> <laughs> we just had the corny Man, one on. It that was, would have been so great. Um, where's the remote at? We can change it. We back. can change it because during this little next segment, um, John is going to act as our stand in guest for this evening. Oh, there it is. You know what? Let me step back a second. Just a thought. Um, the inductee list. Okay. Have, have you seen any of anyone on that list? I uh, saw I saw Bon Jovi. You saw Bon Jovi? I have not. I haven't. Okay. Hmm. I saw Bon Jovi as well. It was great. So actually, it was the Slippery When Wet tour. Oh wow! Man, yeah, Cinderella. you should tell me about that. That would have been amazing. Cinderella opened up. Um, and that's when they. I saw the. Yeah, I, I saw the this Have a Nice Day Coliseum. tour. So okay. It was 2000. I just graduated high school in 2006. Yeah. Actually, a good friend of mine was uh, Bon Jovi's personal assistant for years. Nice. Uh, Teddy, Teddy and Pirelli. Um, he worked with him for. And he's a local guy. So he um, did a lot of tour managing. And huh. I don't know if any of you guys know Teddy. I don't know. John Bon Jovi. Tico bon Torres, their drummer, has a great instructional video yeah. where he does like calisthenics. It's kind of hilarious, but solid, great drummer, Tico. Yeah. Do you know is uh, Richie Sambora is not still the band, is he? He's not. No, but I heard that he wants. I thought I heard he would come back for the induction. Oh, okay. Kind of just be part. Oh, of you would have to, I would think. Well, they have two guitar players to replace him. We no watched in, uh, John Shanks. John Shanks, the producer. Yeah. Okay, because we watched, um, what was it, Hired Gun. Oh, yeah, yeah. we just watched I, that. Yeah, I talked okay. to you. Okay, and one of the guys. You guys still probably X. saw so, it before. Uh, yeah, yeah, still X. He's, yeah. A, he's a great guitar player. Yeah, he filled in, yeah. I, I got uh, it. I didn't yeah. finish it, but yeah, I started I saw most of it. Yeah, Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was so, it was so good. But the question is, is, do you want to see Bon Jovi without Richie Sambora? No, yeah, you know what, that's... It's like seeing question. Plant Without Page. I mean, maybe not quite, but Richie Sambora definitely. Um, very important. Very important. Lots He's of the box. That's Darth Vader. <laughs> That's not. That's no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, this Which is brings us to our, to our next topic. Yeah. We have a. Oh, yeah, do you want to turn it? Yeah, go ahead. Is turn it, it up. Can I turn it up here. from here? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, it starts like that, and then. And then it just. Then you have the your, Christmas uh, song your fire. starts playing. Chestnuts. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <Yes. laughs> and that right. goes on for an hour and five. Uh, or five. Our favorite thing is um, Kyle. Oh, we've got Mary watching. Mary, I'm Mary. She just tuned in. Um, Kyle and I will go to like Susie's and stuff, and Kyle has an Android that has the smart TV remote control. And so Kyle will just turn that on. And he will turn on the dark there on TVs as people are watching about the boss. <laughs> He'll just turn on. I just oh, turn on. Dark Vader getting burned. And we just put it on. And everyone gets real confused. We've gone to places where like the Cavs have been in the playoffs and like oh, turn off the TV. <laughs> yeah, and he turns right. off the TV and then everyone gets mad. <laughs> Which segues into our next segment is uh, as John as our Vindy's guest as yeah. Vindy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is the Star Wars trivia portion of this evening. Now, John and I are going to see the premiere, premiere. of the new Star Wars movie on Thursday night. Mm -hmm. And apparently, Tinseltown has new seats and they have like a seating chart that you have to like choose your seats. Yeah, we like, had to buy tickets like we were going to see. <laughs> like, what? Kyle just said, don't give away my secret. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kyle. Yeah, I remember. Everyone, everyone knows. Like, Kyle. Kyle. Lyle. Lyle. That guy again. Oh, oh man, Lyle. He's gonna get banned from man. every bar in town. His face is on every like don't like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, he's got, he's got a dorky. <laughs> he's got his dorky Michigan hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's got him a disguise. Lyle. So, Lyle. Hashtag Lyle, Lyle the Donald. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> all right, I have. The hardest question, supposedly, on um, Star Wars trivia. I feel like we need Scott for this, too. He was Scott watching. On? Was he? he on? I don't know if he's still watching. Scott, give us a shout if you're still watching. You can chime in on the Star Wars trivia. It could be like, who wants to be a millionaire? You can give a, give oh, a friend a call. Get a lifeline. Get a lifeline. Get a speakerphone. Yeah. 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 Uh, like an answer from the audience, although they're probably online and can a tell poll. us. Yeah, we can do the poll. <laughs> like a poll. Right? Yeah. All right. You, you ready, John? Huge yeah, I'll give it my best shot. Regis. All right, now, I would never be able to that. get these. The I think they're really Ooh, hard. The but let's start off with something <laughs> maybe like hopefully future. easy. <laughs> Who kissed Leia first, Han Solo or Luke? Oh, that was Luke. Good job. Easy. All right, but that was like, of course, <laughs> that's I had to, I, of course I had to give you an easy one first. Okay. What does A-T-A-T -A -T stand for? Oh, man. It's like... All right, like I'll give you the first one. Wow. All terrain transport. That's exactly what, what it is. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Alex, if you're watching, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, that was actually pretty good. I didn't Thank think you. he was going to get Thank that. You. All right, what was the original name of the first Star Wars movie when it went into production? It was like, I like this. It was like the story of Luke Starkiller, something, something, something. I'm going to give it to him. Okay. It's Adventures of Luke Starkiller. Yeah. What? Wow. I'm impressed. Look at this. All right. So many boy. hours playing Such guitar and watching boy. Star Wars. In how many languages is C-3PO fluent? <laughs> <laughs> Six million? Yes. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I am not kidding. Yeah. I'm just going to put this phone away. I don't need Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Which species stole the plans to the Death Star? Uh, in the one, well, the one, if you want to get specific, it's humans. In the I'll first take this one, John. The Ewoks. The e oh, it's not the Ewoks. Damn it. The Bothans. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's in Return Have of you Jack. heard these before? No, I just have seen the movies a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I just know what I'm I talking about. I just know about. it. Who is the only rebel pilot to survive all three movies? Oh, easy. Wedge Antilles. 
<laughs> New band name, by the way. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Wedge Hit <laughs> I saw that name and I was like, what? Yeah. That does not hey, sound like an epic movies. character. Alright, what is the name of Bubba Fett's starship? Slave One. <laughs> These are the considered the hardest yeah, questions. Hard. Are... Darth Vader's chess piece has writing on it. What is the language and what does it translate to? Oh man, I can't see it on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have no That's idea. Good. That one I don't know. Phone a friend. Um, I'll ask that? Scott. Let's see, if he, let's, see if he right, let's see if he answers. <clears throat> You know what, too? That was the last question, so. Okay. Oh, nice. Let's see if we can get it. Put him on speaker. Phoning a friend. Hey. What's the question? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last question. This was a tough one. Okay. All right, Scott, ready? Yeah. Darth Vader's chest piece has writing on it. What is the language, and what does it translate to? Like the language, I know what I don't know what the language. I don't even know what the language is called. It's you whatever they it call it. To? Okay, no. I'll, I'll give you the language. It's Hebrew, which is weird. Hebrew. Hebrew. Really? Yes. Now, see, I thought it was gonna be one of their languages in the movie. Right. right. Exactly. Hey, hey, hey. No, but what does it translate to? And it's something that he basically is known for, but like it's in biblical terms. Oh, man. I have no idea. You got anything there? No, I, that is that is a good question there, Miss Jackie. I have no at least one. Not a clue. Nice job. Okay, so his chess piece piece, which I didn't even know had writing on it, um, had, it says his deeds will not be forgiven until he merits. Yes. I, no, I I never knew either mm -hmm. of those. I got Scott and John on one question. Nice. That that good is job. something. Oh, good question. Right. I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought Very I nice. could get them on one, but like I'm I'm impressed that you got. Thanks. Did right. you just... Sorry, sorry, I got hung up. Again. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Scott. Oh. Sorry, Scott. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, Scott. I just like literally hit the button. <laughs> I was gonna thank you, Scott, for participating. Oh, that's fun. Uh, that was fun. Speaking I like that. Speaking of uh, Hebrew, Happy Hanukkah. To our Happy Jewish friends. We're having a lovely second night. Is it sec the second yeah, night? Yeah, it was the first night yesterday. Yeah. You know, our good. Um, who, who's one of our friends that celebrates Hanukkah? Eric. Finkelstein. Yeah, Finkelstein. Yeah. 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 Uh, our bassist, when Scott's not available, celebrates Hanukkah. So he was. Man, we're not that cultured, are we? Only know one. No, Jewish. I know. Okay. My lawyer. Oh, no, <laughs> My lawyer is Jewish. Oh, <laughs> topical. Oh, not anymore. So we, we hung out with a whole city of them last. Uh, yeah. Last yeah. Wednesday. Brooklyn. Yeah. Who'd you meet? Oh yeah. Who'd you meet? Talk Jackie? about that real quick. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, you know it's weird because I haven't posted anything about it yet because I'm just still reeling from it. But Rick and I went down to Brooklyn like. We bought the tickets for the Little, little Willies, which haven't played in like three or four Who's years. And the Little Willies. For and the Little Willies is comprised of Molly, no. Nora Jones, my like one of my biggest influences, Jim Campolago, Lee Jason or Jason Lee Alexander, <laughs> <laughs> Lee Alexander. <laughs> Just Lee Alexander, uh, and then Richard George. Julian. Yes, I'm George, George Costanza. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Um, so we went um, on Wednesday, and like Small Nora, place. yeah, Nora, Jim, that all no the guys were seventy people in. I wouldn't even say even like that. fifty, yeah. like maybe, and we're like feet away from Nora Jones. The bathroom, I had to go to the bathroom and Nora Jones is right next to the toilet. I was peeing two feet away from Nora Jones. It was the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> I mean, and they played an amazing set and they played all their stuff from the album and like, it's so weird. Like I touched Nora Jones' piano because some guy was like, I dare you. And I'm like, okay, I'll touch it. <laughs> 
felt the vibration. It felt the vibration. Yeah. It looked like you had no choice. I mean, there was not a lot of room. You had. There, yeah, you had I, I couldn't. I, yeah, there's no choice. Like I'm, we're sitting at the bar, listening to Nora Jones and Jim Campolongo like play. It was like insane in Brooklyn too. Apparently they do it often. It was really exciting, and we met the guys, um, kind of before and after the show, and they were just really chill guys and. It was it was a great night. And we met we Nora to, yeah, briefly on her way out. Briefly said hi and thank you for you know an amazing show. Uh, so I'm kind of still like it's it's kind of like I can't believe it happened just because of how it happened like in Brooklyn at this small bar like exactly where I've always wanted to see Nora Jones play and sing and so it was amazing. Um, we spent the day. Um, and, like the next day in Brooklyn, walked around like the Bro- Brooklyn Bridge, and Brooklyn's like really building up now. It's like becoming a huge thing. Um, it's just gentrification. Right along, along the river. Yeah. Like a lot of riverfront property going up. Um, guys, before we end things, I think we should talk about like the coolest idea that we were thinking about for like giving back, maybe you know helping or doing something for Christmas, a Vindigram? Yeah. Who had that? I don't know who came up with the idea. It wasn't you, Leslie? It wasn't me. Was it was I, can I, I, I mentioned it, and then and then you said, yeah, a Vindigram. A Vindigram. Yeah. A, a Vindigram, <laughs> and, um, and it just, yeah, it all came together. So yeah, what's the so, idea? The idea. So... You send edible arrangements, and you send uh, Christmas cards, and you send, I don't know. Have you ever gotten, a, like, a Christmas Sing, gram like from anybody? Singing telegram. No. Singing telegram. Singing telegram. I mean, I've never gotten one, but I think we're going to bring them back, guys. We're going to um, put online. You're going to be able to send a Vindy gram on, a, like, a specific day, maybe two days, um, near Christmas, and you'll be able to send us to your dentist office, your <laughs> your well, we're attorney, thinking like, um, your, your Christmas office parties, party, your office, office party, party. Um, or just like you know, you want us to carol at your, you know, neighbors down the street. Um, it's gonna be called the Vind- a Vindigram. Send it, and we'll be we'll play one song. Um, with a note of your choice, uh, and we'll deliver the message personally. Um, we'll have our instruments and everything ready to go right on the spot to play the one song um, on you know a day closer to Christmas. I think it's a good idea. What do you guys think? Tell us in the comment box. Um, like and share the post for tonight. Um, oh, Michael McGiffin's watching, by the way. Wish him a happy wedding, everybody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Mike 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 Mike. Yeah, Mike and Mara. That'll be so fun. Can't wait. Oh, yeah. Saturday. All of the friends. No, we've been planning it for the whole week. <laughs> also, uh, safety tip number whatever, yeah. just don't drive, which don't none drive. of us will be, to Mikey's wedding. Yeah. Uber. Don't drive to Mikey's Uber wedding. Uber and Lyft. Thanks for being no. in Youngstown. Yeah. Anyway. So, like and share the post tonight, the video. Um, check out the new vinyl on our website. Um, Thevindies.com. Thevindies.com. That's and where that's we'll have more information on the Vindigrams. And also on Facebook and Instagram. Also, we do have, um, being a one, year, a one year since we did it, the Christmas single from last year. Yeah. You can get on iTunes and oh, Amazon yeah. and Spotify, along with the newer Christmas video that we did for Run Run Rudolph. Um, both videos are on YouTube. Share them, like them, send them out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, you know, we're on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. So we've been building up our YouTube page, so yeah, if you if have you a YouTube could, account. <laughs> like, I'm willing to beg. Get on there. Subscribe to us. Like us. Do it for Molly. Share it. Do it for Do Molly. Do it for Molly. If you like Molly, hey. if you like the Vindies, go on YouTube. And, because I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> and I need... Get five new likes tonight. And I, I would like five new likes. I'd sleep happy. <laughs> Aww, Molly. All right, say bye, Molly. Wave bye to the camera. Merry Christmas and ha- to all, and to all a good night. <laughs> bye, guys. Have a nice night. <laughs>